everybody, Abby here from Trust Me Pretty. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the Dutch fishtail braid. And not only am I teaching you how to do the Dutch fishtail braid, but also sharing three different ways to wear it, and they are so super cute. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, at the very, very end, I am spilling some awesome news. So I hope you guys stick around to the end, or at least fast forward it all the way to the end and see what's going on. So don't forget to subscribe down below, and let's get started on the video. First up, we're gonna take a thin slice of hair near the part, and I actually like to start on the heavier side and then just split it in two. So now holding both sections, one in each hand with your knuckles down, you're gonna use your index finger to snag a slice of hair in the back on one of those sections. And then you're gonna turn your wrist and pass that section under and to the other side. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So with your index finger, snag a small slice of hair from the front of that section, and then turn your wrist and pass the section under and to the other side. So that's your first stitch of a regular fishtail braid. And what we're gonna do next is turn it into a Dutch fishtail braid. So repeat by using your index finger to break off a slice of hair from that back section and then turn your wrist and pass the hair under the section and over to the one that's right in front. Then holding both sections in one hand, the one in front, you're gonna use your free hand to gather a new sliver of hair that's behind the braid and you're gonna pass it to that first section. So it's going under its section and you're combining it with the section that's being held by your index finger and thumb. So many words, so let's repeat that. Break off a slice of hair from the front of the front section and then turn your wrist and pass the hair under the section and over to the one that's in the back. And then you're gonna hold both sections in the hand that's furthest from your face. And with your free hand, you're gonna gather a new sliver of hair that's right in front of the braid. And then you're gonna pass it under and to the back section. I'm gonna throw a couple of single left extensions just to add some thickness and volume, but you don't have to, obviously, if you don't want to. And then from here on out, I'm just gonna let you watch how I do it. I feel sometimes that a lot of words is a little bit confusing. So I'm just gonna let you watch what I do and hopefully it makes sense. But you can refer to the beginning of this video if you need the explanation again. When you finally reach your ears, go ahead and turn this into a regular fishtail braid so we're not adding in any new sections of hair from here on out. Just passing one slice of hair from one side to the other until you reach the ends. And then you're gonna hold the ends of the braid taut with one hand and with the other, just tug on the outside sections of the fishtail braid to loosen it up and spread it out and then tie it off with a clear elastic. Now from here we're just gonna drape the braid across the crown and then I like to lift up a little bit of hair right there and secure the braid kinda underneath that section with a bobby pin and then you're just gonna drape the hair on top right over the fishtail braid and you are done! For hairstyle number two, we're just gonna repeat the braid on the other side. Here I'm just adding in a two clipped weft extension, again for length, and then take a thin slice of hair near the front and split it in two. Do a Dutch fishtail braid just like we did on the other side and I'll meet you back here in just a second.
and you did it! You should now have two Dutch fishtail braids that look similar to this. And then I always have a bubble on this side, so to fix it, I'm just pushing the bubble down and kind of folding the braid on top of it and then pinning it in place. So it's an easy fix, and you can add another bobby pin right next to it just to keep that poof kind of down if you're struggling with that at all. So now you're just going to take the other braid and we're going to tie these ends into a basic knot. So the left side is going to go underneath the right side, the tail's going to be flipped up and through, and then you're going to cinch it tight and you're going to do another knot, same way. Now we're just going to slide in a bobby pin or two to make sure that this crown braid is secure. And I'm just using one because that's all I need, but if you need a little bit more grip, go ahead and crisscross the bobby pins underneath the fishtail braid. And then I like to kind of spread apart this fishtail braid even further. And voila! This is a gorgeous fishtail crown braid and it's your hairstyle number two. For the last hairstyle, we're just going to put the curls up into a low ponytail and then you're just going to cinch it up so that the ponytail kind of hides underneath the fishtail braid. And you've got hairstyle number three. What do you guys think? And that wraps up our video. I hope you guys learned how to Dutch fishtail braid and were inspired by a few different ways to wear it. While I have you guys, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be doing a 30 hairstyles in 30 days challenge in July and I'm so excited about it. So the purpose of this challenge is to help you guys become better braiders. So the first week of the challenge, I'm only going to do one video a week, so it's going to be different than my other challenges, but I'm going to be doing one video at the beginning of the week, so the French braid, and every day in that week, we're going to be doing a different French braided hairstyle. So that by the end of the week, you are like an expert French braider, and then we're going to move on to Dutch braids and fishtail braids, and it's going to be awesome. So if you want to join and follow along, make sure that you're signed up for my newsletter because there's going to be lots of details and pictures and all of the things that we're doing in the newsletter. And then also follow me on Instagram. I'm at Twist Me Pretty, and I'll share all the daily inspo pics and stuff so that you guys can kind of follow along and do it with me. So I'm really, really excited. Sign up for the newsletter down below and on Instagram, Twist Me Pretty. Okay, we'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.